Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Anise, otherwise known as The Beauty Professor, and I am happy to be spending some time with you today. This video is dedicated to this look that you see right here, which is the culmination of a few interesting steps. I'm showing you a new to me skincare device called the Myolift, and I'll be prepping my face with this today. So I'll walk you through how I like to use it. I'm going to continue by a couple of simple skincare steps, followed by foundation, and a new palette for eyes and cheeks that I am really, really pleased with. So I am coming back with clean, bare skin so we can jump right into things. Let's get going with the building of this look right here. So I'm going to start by removing my T3 volumizing rollers. I have had these in for about 15 minutes or so and I have put them into second day hair. The only product in my hair from a couple of days ago is the Augustinus Botter leave-in hair treatment and this is a new experiment for me. Obviously, for those of you who follow the line closely like I do, you know that they just launched hair care. I'm experimenting with the shampoo as well right now. And I like this because you just put a little bit, I actually skip conditioner and just put a little bit of this in my ends, draw it through my damp hair. And then as the water starts to evaporate, then I go in and I brush it out. I find that it smooths, it strengthens, it does seem to reduce frizz and also makes your hair really shiny. It's a nice detangling element. And so I'm just going to take out my rollers. I like these because they are velvet flocked, which means that they never get stuck or tangled into your hair like the ones with spikes do. And that's major when it comes to being concerned about accidentally pulling out your hair. I never lose hair with these. So you can see the kind of curls it gives my very straight, fairly heavy hair. It's just loose, voluminous curls, nothing too intense. And that is what I like about them because it's a very predictable kind of outcome. Last one right here, even though it comes with a, I really usually only use six and I use the smaller rollers on my you know layered pieces and I use the wider rollers on the big, all one length pieces of my hair in the back. So you can see here is the result. I'm not even going to put any styling product in it. I just like to leave my hair as it is. And I find that it just gives a really gorgeous bounce. This curl will last me all day and my hair will just kind of look blown out tomorrow on my day three. So it's a nice way to extend a hair washing. I'm really aiming for washing every three days or so these days. And these are invaluable. I cannot recommend them enough. I use them multiple times a week. Although my face is bare right now, I do have some new lip liner on because I'm filming and I'm going to go in now with some lip balm. This is the brand new Lift Lab Lip Cure. This is a special lip balm because it has really interesting ingredients that help to hydrate the lips without building lip balm dependency, which is an issue, right? You put your lip balm on and you just want to keep adding it because somehow in the process, your lips might even feel drier. This acts as a humectant, it holds the moisture in, it draws more moisture to your lips. And I have pretty dry lips as just a norm. I'm always putting things on my lips. So this has been a good test period for me. You can see that even though it's got a color in the tube, it's pretty much clear on the lips. Ah, so volumizing, so smooth, not too slippery, and it does stay in place. I've been testing it at night, which is a, a really good time to test because you'll see if it stays on your lips all night, how do your lips feel in the morning lately, and it's been really good. So I'm just adding some in right now while I move on to some other treatments. As I move into my facial treatment, which is going to involve the MyoLift, which is a microcurrent device, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use it. I'll go in right now and just use some of these Laura Mercier clips to hold my hair back without adding any dents. I would have normally just left the curlers in, but they've been in for a while as it was, so. All right, hair is off of my face and I can go in for the treatment. And I'm working with a new device to me today, and that is the MyoLift Mini. This is an at-home microcurrent device that delivers professional level results. It is FDA cleared for the neck and above, and it has two modes with various power settings. So there is an erase, 
and there is an educate mode. The educate mode is going to tighten your facial muscles and lift, and the erase mode is going to elongate and relax your muscles that might be constricting and tight and creating those undue wrinkles. So you want to have both of those options. I love that it comes with these professional level probes. You can use this two to three times a week, and you will want to use it with a conductivity gel, which comes with it. You can also use any water-based gel that you prefer. The company is really transparent about using micro amps. You don't always know with a micro current device if micro amps, which are the preferred industry standard, are being used, but they are very open about this. And so I'm excited to put it into use for you guys today. Let's get this set up. So here's a peek at the gel itself. It's very gel-like. It also has anti-aging benefits. It's rich with antioxidants. So you're getting that skincare benefit while using it. Now, I love the fact that there's so many tutorials on my lift already out there. And I watched a few before I did this for the first time but I also like this quick and handy guide it comes with that shows you exactly the movement direction wise I'm kind of like a paper person when it comes to looking at directions I don't know about you but for me to be able to see the movement that these probes should be going in in order to create the results you want is really helpful just on a card like this so I keep it handy and I'm going to be working with this eyebrow lift right here so let's power on the device. You can see it's on right now. It also gives you the set amount of time that you would need for any of your treatments. So it, the clock just runs for you and it also tells you if you're maintaining conductivity the whole time, if the currents are remaining active on your skin and you can keep track of that so you're not wasting any of your efforts. All right, I'm going to just start with level two, educate for this eye lift today. I'm going to start on this side of my face and I love that you've got the time already counting down for you once you begin so that you know exactly how much time you should be dedicating to this process. Now I just press run and it's beginning to do the countdown. So I'm gonna place one of the probes right here and then I'm going to move upward like this with the other one and now I am getting the full effect. I wanna mention right now that it doesn't feel uncomfortable. In fact, I don't really feel much at all, but I can tell from my device which is at an intensity of 350, that full conductivity is taking place. And I'm just gonna hold right here like this. You can already see, wow, I'm already seeing some results here. Keeping it up like that, moving it in an upward motion. You don't have to press hard, holding that conductivity in place. Get close up there, you guys can see what's going on. Our obvious lifted effect, and that's just been a couple minutes of a real moving to the outside of the orbital area. Holding, making sure the conductivity is not broken. All right, you can already see this brow is lifted. This whole eye area is looking more awake. I'm actually getting a little more surface area in my lid. Let's keep going. This process, in addition to being relaxing, is inviting your muscles to have a little workout. And it's also increasing blood flow and circulation, which is something that we definitely want in our facial area because that helps with collagen production, which is one of the chief components to making our skin healthy and bouncy and youthful looking. So it's a win all the way around. All right, you guys can see the difference here. This is obvious, it's clearly lifted by at least, I mean, I'm not gonna take out a ruler, but at least a centimeter. I moved to the outer edge here, so we're doing eye lift for any you know, fatigue caused eye sloping downwards. And then I'm gonna move back into this area for that brow lift, holding, holding in place, maintaining conductivity. I love seeing results like this so quickly, which makes me excited to continue to use this all over my face. Obviously I need to get to the other side of my face before I can move into the next phase of makeup application just to keep everything evened out. I just added a little more conductivity gel to this area here now that I've got this nice lifted brow and I'm going to work on continuing the educate level two, moving towards a cheek lift by bringing this up to here and holding like this, sculpting the rest of that face out. I do have TMJ and so any kind of light jaw massage really makes a difference for me from a comfort level and then my goodness if we can get some cheek sculpting and cheek lifting in the process yes please i can feel the conductivity a little bit more through here but it's not uncomfortable at all it's definitely just lets me know that the machine is working and i'm getting that nice lifting 
sculpting effect. I can't wait to see. And I keep checking my machine to make sure that I am maintaining conductivity, which I am. All right, and my process on this side of my face is complete. Take a look, you can see my brow is visibly lifted. My eye looks very awake. Cheek sculpting is activated. My jaw feels nice and firm and toned. I'm gonna get to this side next so we can create a similar effect uh, and balance everything out. Now, just for skincare, before I head into makeup, I'm going very light. I'm working with the 107 Dewy Glow. This is a serum mist or spray, and it really takes care of hydration for me, especially if my skin has just been kind of prepped with something else. So I'm just spraying it on. You can also use this as a touch up in the daytime, but I find that just kind of let it sit and set. It's like a really lightweight, luminous moisturizer with the most minimal level of effort possible. I love this brand. I also really appreciate their Chaga Jelly Cleanser, which I've gone through a couple of already. For eyes today, I'm going to be applying a touch of luminous eye cream. This is the Laura Mercier Illuminating Eye Cream. It's got kind of a soft, iridescence to it and a little goes a long way so here we go just going to move it through here and hydrate this area a little bit and it's light reflecting so you get some nice brightness in a zone that can often be dark i am going to skip under eye concealer today since i did so much work on my eyes as it is i'm looking pretty alert so this is the extent of my skincare for eyes for my base today i'm working with two shades of the Le Mate de beauté peau vierge I have discussed this so many times over the years. I'm happy that this brand is back. It is fully contained on its website and I always have a discount code for you guys, so I'll make sure to share that in the details box. Peau Vierge is one of my favorite products of life because it's a tint, it's got some hydration, it illuminates, it perfects the skin, it's got skincare ingredients. It's just, there's nothing like it that I've tried all these years. So I'm so happy when the brand came back and they came back with this. La Mettier de Beauté has also recently launched at Neiman Marcus, so I'll link to kind of the landing page for you guys in the details box. Povierge is not quite there yet, but some other great pieces, including the Creme Fresh tints for cheeks, are there. So you can check that out. All right, I'm putting a little bit of the tan mixed with the number three, which is just a little more pale. I'm putting the two together. I will mix. I'm just going to move right into here. You can see it already offers a beautiful wash of evening color and some illumination. Oh my gosh, this product is great for just like light makeup days because it's so sheer. Just put some on, it evens your skin tone out, gives you that lit from within glow, but it's so subtle, so sophisticated. Because my skin is looking pretty even, I'm just gonna use a touch of the Valentino SPF 26 foundation. My best shade match is MA, which is like medium amber four. It is a beautiful olive tone. And here's just a dot in my hand and I'll just distribute in four areas of my face. You can see this is a great kind of olive beige. I love the undertone of this particular foundation for my skin because even though it's got that amber element, it doesn't get orange at all. It really stays in that true yellow olive place which for my skin is best. Because it's medium to full coverage, one pump is sufficient for me in this case, and I'm actually bringing it right under the eyes, tapping out with my super sponge, which is a latex covered beauty blender of sorts. I like it because you smooth it on rather than pat, because it's latex covered and you can clean it really easily. Look at this finish. It's so perfecting, but natural looking. And for me, and I've heard some people say it's just too matte for them. For me, especially if I wear over a luminous primer, I'm in good shape. Also, I feel like with this foundation, I like the way my skin looks all day long. I don't need to touch up. I don't carry it with me if I'm out all day. It just sets and really keeps my skin looking less fresh all day. For bronzer today, I'm using a well-loved favorite. Look how well-loved that is. I'm using my Syrah Artistic Cheek Brush coupled with Hourglass, Luminous Bronze Light, Bronzing Powder. I've gone through so many of these. And I'm just focusing on sculpting today because I am going to use another cheek product that's brand new that I can't wait to show you for my next step. So I'm gonna have a very light hand here. This is just to sculpt, add a little dimension, and I always bring it around the perimeters of my face. Natasha Denona 
Glam Palette. Look at this. This is in the dark version and I just received it. I swatched everything yesterday and so I now I'm ready to get it onto my face. Um, it comes with a cream blush. It comes with a Star Glow highlighter. And then you've got five different shades. For me, I'm really gonna be focusing on these lighter shimmery shades and maybe one of these in the crease because that's just the eye look that I like to do. There's also a lighter version as like well. Natasha always does. She kind of tells you what you should be using for which area. So outer corner, transition, smoke, inner, and then crease. I am doing a more modified subtle eye. So I'm actually going to use this Wayne Goss brush right here. This is the 07. And I'm going to put this all over. So bringing this through, look how pretty this color is. Brown, rose gold, bronze. I love it. Okay, I'm already also noticing that I have more eyelid and upper eyelid to work with because everything is so lifted from my MyLift treatment. So that's just kind of a side note. Wow, I've got some surface area here. I do have hooded eyes, so the fact that I can get any extra space here is appreciated. All right, I'm going to use this lighter shade and I know that for some people like to switch up their brushes. I'm so, the fact that I'm even using a brush is a big deal for me because normally I just don't. I use my fingertips, that's just my way. But we're gonna bring that upward. Look at that lift, I can't get over it. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna take some of the Star Glow and bring it right to the top there. So that's how I'm transitioning Look at that full eye now, like seconds. That was fantastic. Okay, I'll take a little bit of this warm brown shade and put it in the crease here as a transition shade. There we go. And this is the smokiest, most luminous eye I've done in a while. You know, everything I do is peachy all the time. All right, I just finished this eye pretty quickly now that I know my way around these shades. I'm putting a little bit of the inner corner shade in the actual inner corner. One more in the outer corner there. Okay, and we could put a little more of this in the outer corner, bringing it outward. And this is just a really fresh wash of color that feels smoky and dramatic, but still totally wearable in the daytime. Let me get into brows and lash. For brows, I'm going to be skipping any color products and just going with something clear. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze brow wax it's it's fantastic i use the applicator that you can purchase with it and it's clear but it does such a great job of just adding this feathery laminated look to my brows my brows are pretty full right now on their own naturally because i do use grande brow before that i took a little break from grande brow and i was using latisse on my lashes and on my brows but that does get expensive, <laughs> extra expensive. So I'm just using the Grande Brow on my brows and actually I think it's better for my brows. I think it's more nu nutrient rich. So I noticed the fullness increasing very quickly as I started transitioning back to Grande Brow. All right, look at these brows now. They are just laminated, full, feathery, but natural. And we'll head into cheeks back with this palette here. So. This cream blush has a good amount of color. I mean, this is a suede kind of velvet matte finish. It does have kind of a just pinched look if you apply it lightly. And that's what I'm going to do because a little blush on me goes a long way. So I'm putting it on my finger here and I'm going to just tap it into my cheek right at the apples of my cheeks and then move it upward like this. Oh, it's really natural. It's a nice natural wash of color that looks healthy and fresh. You can obviously build up the intensity. And that's as intense as I'm going to get today, but you could, and I think that's why it works so well on medium, tan, and rich, deep skin tones. It's going, look at this difference here. It's already lifted the face just with the application. This just looks like I just took a nice brisk walk somewhere. Oh, I love it. Natasha Denona. This is stunning as a color. I was a little intimidated by it at first when I saw it in the pan, but I'm in love now. Okay, now I'm gonna use my same brush and I'm going to apply the Star Glow to the high points of my face. This is an ultra luminous kind of wet finish highlighter, even though it's a powder. She does obviously glow and highlight so well. Not everybody likes to put it on the forehead, but I do in small quantities down the nose. 
This is a winner, you guys. I love this palette. Look how sleek it is, too. It's lightweight, but has everything you need. For just a touch more luminosity, I wanted to show you a new product from M Cosmetics. It's the Sunscape Highlighter. This is the shade Serenity, which is just a light pale pink. And I am going to just touch a little bit across here. I want to be very conservative because I'm already really happy with the cheek outcome, but just make it a little more luminous. Boom. So ethereal. This is finely milled, does not accentuate pores, and it just looks really, really lit from within on the skin. I love this pink one. It also comes in three additional shades. Very quickly, I rarely have stuff on my nails. I'm a very natural nail kind of person, but I wanted to talk quickly about what I have on my nails today because it's a brand that was put on my radar last month and I've been using it nonstop. And it's called Dazzle Dry and it's a multi-step system, but it's designed without any of the toxic chemicals that we normally associate with nail lacquer. And as long as you do this base coat, well, you have to do, I like to do two coats and let them dry in between. But once you do, it creates this canvas that makes sure that the polish, in this case, this is Prima Ballerina. It's like my ideal kind of pinky nude white. It, it stays in place. This is a week long manicure for me that I did myself. No chips, no nicks. It's crazy. Like I, I was explained to me this way and I was a little bit skeptical. Like how could this be? But it is such a special system. There's all, so the whole manicure process takes me about 20 minutes to do on my own, but then I don't do anything for at least a week, usually longer. It just stays without chipping. And I put my hands through a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like I never do a manicure for that reason. So have you tried Dazzle Dry? You can get this done at different nail salons. I am just happy to be able to do it on my own here because like, why wouldn't you if you could get this for result? For mascara today, I'm working with something I've showed you guys before. This is the Lawless One and Done Mascara and it lives up to its name. You get volume and length in one formula. This is my second tube of it. I use it constantly and every time I do, Someone says like, what is on your lashes? Look at that difference already. I mean, you're watching me put this on in real time. It, it might also be important to note that this is a clean formulation that in my personal experience does not smudge, does not budge, does not smear, does not flake off. It's not waterproof, but I'm not really doing any swimming <laughs> right now. And I will just say, even if I do get into the water, I was traveling a couple weeks ago, as long as I'm not rubbing my eyes after my eyes get wet, it really just kind of stays there. It's crazy. For being a clean formulation to have that kind of lasting power is significant. And I don't get this kind of lasting power even from a non-clean formula. So I sing its praises all the time. I love it. Lashes are complete. I am nearing the end of my process. I think I can take these out now, serve their prop purpose well, and you can see my hair still has that wave, but it's settled down just a touch. And like I said, this is about what it'll stay like for the next 24 hours or so. things like this. Okay, boom, hair is done, back to normal. And I'm gonna go in with a lip today that is just kind of subtle since I have a more dramatic eye going on. This is the Lancome. Lip liner, it's waterproof in the shade Mars. I love this as just a natural kind of pinky brown tone. It's got just a hair of luminosity, just a hair. And that I think adds some dimension. Often I'll just wear it like this with some balm over it, but I think I'm gonna add some color in today. I am using the Giorgio Armani Cold Nuda shade. This is a luminous maestro version. So it's the maestro formula that is usually matte and this has some, just some pearl pigments. Look at this. I bought this a couple years ago and I still use it a lot and I just checked and they still have it. So I'll link to it. Mm, I love this color so much and it looks good over a dark liner. This is a really plush hydrating formula and that lasts. This is a lip combo of dreams for me and people who like colors like this, like I do. What do you guys think? And here is the full look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this process from some pretty fascinating skincare steps at the beginning with my Maya Lift all the way to this final result that we have today. What products stood out to you? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. 
And as always, I continue to have new content on Beauty Professor. So in between videos, don't forget to visit me at beautyprofessor.com. Take care.